Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Skillshare.com. Skillshare is an online learning community, with more than 27,000 classes in design, video editing, motion graphics, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access, so you can join any class, and take them anywhere, anytime. Learn, collaborate, or even teach a class by your own. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career. Skillshare is the best option for you. Visit the link from the description below, and first 500 people will get two months for free. In case, you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can download this free template, from the link in the description. So, let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it the Wire Audio Spectrum. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. At 30 frames per second. With a duration of 30 seconds. But you should use the exact length of your song. The first step is to import your music file into the project. And then place it onto the timeline. Let's trim out the duration of the composition, as the exact same length of the song. Go to the end position, and then press N, to set the work area end. If you press L double times, you can see the waveform, of your audio file. Let's make the spectrum now. Create a new solid layer, and I am calling it the spectrum dots. Choose any color you want, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, here search for the audio spectrum. This is an inbuilt plugin of After Effects. You don't have to download it from anywhere. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the audio layer to your audio file layer. And then make the spectrum smaller, by changing the value of the start point, and the end point. Now change the frequency band's value to 10. And then change the start frequency value to 800, as well as change the end frequency value to 1000. Now the spectrum will look like this. Let's change the look of it. Change the softness value to 0%, and then change the color to the white. Keep the color white for both inside and outside color. Now change the thickness value to 10, to make the dots thicker. Change the display options to analog dots. As you can see, we are getting two dots on high frequency, which we don't need. So let's change the side options to side A only. And now we have one dots only. But they are not moving as much as we need, so let's increase the maximum height value to 2000. Now it is looking much better. Let's move to the next step. Select your spectrum layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's call it the spectrum line. For this spectrum, change the display options to the analog line. Now change the thickness value to 0.5. And it will look like this. Cool. Let's make one more duplicate of this layer, and I am calling it spectrum vertical line. For this spectrum, I am changing the display options to the digital. And it will look even better now. Check the animation, and see if you like it. These lines are looking too thin to me, so I am changing the thickness value to 1. Also, I am changing the thickness value, for the bottom spectrum to 1 as well. Now we are going to add more elements to this spectrum. Select the spectrum line layer, and make a duplicate of it. 
change the maximum height value to 1800, as well as change the thickness value to 0.5. Now make one more duplicate, and change its maximum height value to 1600. We are going to make five more duplicates of the spectrum line layer, and each layer's maximum height value will be less 200, than the previous layer. Cool. It will look better. See, I told you. Now select the spectrum dot layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's call it spectrum small dots. Now go to the effects control tab, and change the thickness value to 2. Also, change the maximum height value to 2500. Check the animation, and see if you like it. I think I need to add more dots to it. So let's change the frequency band's value to 15. And it will look much better now. Now I am going to add some particles to it. Create a new solid layer. I am calling it particles, and then hit OK. Place it on top of all layers. And then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the CC particle system too. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the birth rate value to 2. And change the longevity value to 1. Now open producer, and change the radius Y value to 0. As well as, change the radius X value to 50 so that it will cover the entire spectrum. Now open physics, and change the animation to twirly. Cool. Change the velocity value to 0.2. And change the gravity value to 0.2 as well. Let's increase the resistance value to 8.5, to make the particles slower. Cool. This looks good to me. Now we are moving to the next step, open particle, and change the particle type to the shaded and faded sphere. Now change the birth size to 0.05, and change the death size to 0.01. Let's change the size variation to 100%, to get some different size particles. But I cannot see the particles clearly, because they are fading out very quickly. So I'm going to increase the longevity value to 3 seconds. And also, I am keeping the color to the white, because I am going to change the color later. Ramp preview this, and see if you like it. Cool, it's looking good. Now I want my particles to disappear, after the song has finished playing. So go to the time position, where your song is finishing. Select the particles layer, and then add a keyframe on the birth rate. Now go to a few frames forward, and change the birth rate value to zero. Now the particles will disappear, after the song has been finished playing. Let's add some colors to it, select all the spectrum layers, including the particles layer. Now right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it spectrum. Now go to the effects and the presets, here search for the fill effect. Apply it onto the layer, and let's apply one more effect. Search for the glow effect, apply it onto the same layer. Now we are going to adjust a few settings. First. Change the fill color to any color you want. I am keeping this greenish blue color. Now adjust the glow effect. Change the glow threshold value to 55%, and change the glow radius value to 10. Ramp preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty-free sound effect, stock footage, 
and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description. Thank you.